This one is blocking the gate. Was it unlocked? Yep. Well, they like to let's right Oh, no Sorry, you have your You're gonna go in this hole over here. You're gonna have to move that one to get. He's gonna have to move this one to get. He's gonna have to move this one over a little bit to get that one. Go down. There you go. There you go. Was it unlocked? Yep. Oh, goodness. Blocking the gate. Probably not. It's a little. No, it's not gonna roll. It's gonna prove to be visible, don't I know. <laughs> Did you get in the neutral or something? Or? It's unlocked. I don't think it. You got deep in there. Yeah. Yeah, no. All this stuff is weird like that. Sometimes I don't want it. Yeah. Yeah, with it being unlocked, it would be he might be it might work. We shall see. I don't know which side he's not gonna be able to see. Which side are you not going to be able to see? This side? Well, I... We'll watch all sides. <laughs> he likes the challenge, but this is definitely one. Y'all probably haven't been up this road before. No, I've never been. I did not know this place existed. I'm surprised y'all found it. <laughs> GPS is a wonderful thing when it works. I think he's probably going to get into that hole over there. Okay. Yep. I, how is there enough of you to like patrol all of this stuff? It's just me right now. Sheesh. Good job. Everything auto? Hi, um, my car was towed to y'all. It was a green Subaru. I'm just like right outside the gate. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I don't have anybody there currently, but I can, I can get okay. somebody back over. Probably be about thirty or forty minutes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Bye.
If only it wasn't surveillance. Watch out, they're gonna electrocute. Was it unlocked? Yep. Goodness.
sorry, everyone. What? But it's not your fault. We all left the car there. No one just said the sign saying, do not block the street. Maybe I have just had a piece of paper in there and they just fell behind the thing and I've never seen it. Joke on my table. Auto. Sorry, we're just outside the gate. We were just waiting for someone. We'd spoken a little bit earlier. Um, we set off the alarm. I accidentally we just wanted to make sure that we, we didn't want to mean anything by like we weren't trying to break in or anything. We were just trying to like read the little signs, but we're just waiting outside. We just wanted to make sure that we didn't set off anything for y'all. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got somebody in route. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sorry, we just wanted to call and let you know that we had set off some alarm and we didn't want to, like, trigger any system or, like, have anything, like, an alert on y'all's part or worry anybody. Yeah, yeah, you just, you, you cannot tug on the gate. It, it will, it will of trigger, course. it will trigger the alarm. So, yeah, we, course, we've sir. got, we've got, sorry about that. yeah, we've got somebody thank coming. You. Thank you. Uh, bye -bye. Thank you, sorry. So now they're calling me, <laughs> saying that they... They were just trying to read the sign that looked like, I mean, I, I'm sure we can pull the video. They weren't just reading a sign. They were tugging on the gate. So, uh, but at least they recognized it and, and, uh, obviously they were a little freaked out by now. And I think my camera was plugged in on the first go around or my, uh, microphone was unplugged. So you guys didn't get any of the backstory in the first round. I just now unplugged it. So, uh, anyway, the backstory was they were parked in front of the gate. Uh, Rangers were, they had worked for 10 or 12 hours that you know, today and they were just trying to go home and uh they were parked in front of the gate for the trailhead so those rangers you know after <laughs> countless hours of uh trail maintenance were ready to go home and couldn't because they had blocked the the entrance and the exit there and there was signage you just can't do that kind of stuff but uh that's the explanation on why they were towed and uh we're on our way to see if we can get them their vehicle back so stick around stay tuned okay guys um headed down the hill of course they're going to try to tell me that uh they didn't pull on the gate i'm sure but uh if you want to back in here here's the video it doesn't look like reading a sign to me looks like uh looks like pulling on the gate to me pulling on the gate to me wonder if a uh, car belongs to a black shirt lady or not hello Up, um, a car that was towed from one of the from, from the park yeah yeah guys you can't try to get in to the to the lot that's yeah, that's not cool we were just yeah, going around and it was it was me i was over. just yeah i'm sorry yeah we were trying to get in like actually get in it's, just just i was just pulling around like truly. okay okay sorry. Are, are, who's the registered owner me ID matches the registration of the vehicle and all that good stuff. Yeah, my um, like whole wallet and everything's in there, but okay, okay. Um, as long as the ID matches that, I can get it back to you. The cost associated, just okay. Um, if you've got cash, I can only do cash on the on those. There's a there's an ATM and a bank right there. If you can, I can't on those. No. Well, can I get my card out? Yeah, if you want to get your card, that's fine. I, and I locked it. It was unlocked when we got there when the park yeah, rangers thank were. You. Is there like a reason why you want me to take cash? Like, can I still get a receipt for yeah, it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll give you, yeah, we'll make sure you've got a receipt. Uh, just the, uh, the dispute process for the cards. Because I can pay like debit if that helps with the dispute stuff. I can't. Yeah, the only thing I can do is cash on those. You can see the ID now. Yeah, it, it, now I or later, it doesn't matter. In here, but okay. It's somewhere. I'm just trying to see if this is the right year. I mean, I have like all of them in here. But. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's, it's, if if they're uh, 
Did you did you did you speak with the national park already too? No, I haven't. Okay. I mean, we spoke with them in person, but. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if they their copy of their impound sheet is on the dash there. You're welcome. And I can make sure you get a receipt for ours whenever, okay. whenever we get that. But yeah, there's a, there's a bank up here at the corner. If that helps, they've got an ATM right up here at the top of the hill. Uh huh. And I'll just hang out here and wait. Whenever you guys are are ready, just let me know. Uh huh. All right, guys, they're going to get some cash. Our policy is just for uh, for the chargebacks. We take cash, checks, cards, <laughs> anything else on everything else except for the illegal parks. And certain third-party insurance companies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've had some really awful insurance companies uh, here lately that uh, want to do chargebacks as well. They'll come and, and make it sound like they're all good, and they'll give us the card and pay for all of the the towing fees and and then uh all of a sudden they're like nope we'll do a charge back on that <laughs> yes ma'am there's that receipt it's got paid cash on it let me get you some change okay if you got some keys i'll pull it out here for you gotcha give me just a sec So they were talking about the piece of paper that was on the dash. Do you want to talk about the piece of paper that was on the dash? Uh, the piece of paper on the dash is um, is a form that the park rangers issue. So if you're in an accident or a crash or get a ticket or go to jail, they're all pretty much the same. It's, it's just a sheet that says, uh, you know, what you did and your information, the vehicle information, if there's any police holds, if there's... You know, it's, it's a very detailed sheet, so that's uh, that's given to everybody, and, and yeah. She was trying to figure out how it got on her dash. Well, it been very easy to put on her dash, considering the vehicle was unlocked when we got to it. And not a good idea here in, in bear country, you know, with, with all of the things that are inside the vehicle to leave it unlocked on top of that. They were pretty disrespectful, just some of the things that, that were said on camera, you know, I wish it wasn't surveillanced and tugging on the gate and... Uh, we've, we've got the whole thing recorded, so you guys will get to see that video as well. Um, like I said, I know I get a lot of people say, "Yeah, that's just not fair. You're you're being a you're being a Karen. They weren't trying to break in." And uh, you know, I've I've gotten a lot of those responses too uh, from from past videos where where folks have tried to crawl under the gate or over the gate or pull on the gate. You know, it's it's <laughs> there's no excuse for it. You don't. You don't try to, to push and, and pry open a gate unless you're trying to get in. And, uh, you know, there's just no if ands, or buts about that process. And I don't understand why you would think otherwise. But uh, that's how I take it. I'm not sure how everybody else takes it. But uh, anyway, like I said, very, very disrespectful on, on that end of it. And, and, and just to park where they park, that was, that was a whole other, whole other thing. So the, those, those rangers were, you know, they'd had a full day in on trail maintenance and they were just covered in, in sweat and was, was ready to, to go home. And, and he was there for what, two hours past? Yeah. He said they got off like it. I don't know. He said he worked seven to five or something like that. And it was almost seven o'clock when we left with it. So. so yeah, they were trapped there for another couple of hours past their shift, just trying to figure out how to how to make this happen um, and I don't know how many people were in their party I think the truck that was there was at on scene too but the Rangers let me tell you guys they're very lenient um, you know we got there we we removed just the one vehicle and there was just enough space for the workers to get their their equipment their truck and stuff out 
uh, squeeze past the other cars that were were there involved and and uh we only removed the one which like i said very lenient on the officers you're you're you guys won't find a better a better park and better park rangers than than right here in the great smoky mountains because you know they, they could have could have towed every one of those uh in front of the gate and uh it would have resulted in at least two more probably mm -hmm. Uh, but we only removed the one, and uh, they were able to, to catch a ride. I'm guessing they were all in the same party. Uh, I don't know why you would think it would be okay to park you know, in front of a service gate like that. But, uh, you know, maybe you're just excited. Maybe you're excited to, to be in the park and do a trail, and you just pull up, and you don't, maybe you truly don't think a thing in the world about it. You're, you're, just, uh, you're just here to have some fun. You pull up, get out of your car, and, you know, maybe that was truly the, the case because you know, she did leave it open, unlocked. Uh, they, they just zoomed off to, to have a good day and, and, uh, it is a good time guys. It's a good time over here to, to do some of these trails and hike some of this and see some of our amazing scenery. I hope that, uh, you guys get the opportunity to come do some of that stuff, but she got the opportunity to do it and, um, got to come pick up her car afterwards. She wasn't <laughs> responsible about it. No, she just, you she just wasn't. can't walk a gate. That's just, you can't walk a gate and you can't come to the tow yard and tug on one. <laughs> Those are two gates that you do not, <laughs> do not <mess> with. <laughs> you do not mess with when you're uh, when you're here trying to figure this stuff out. But uh, anyway, we appreciate you guys. And right there is uh, GPD. We appreciate those guys too. Um, they're always out checking and monitoring things, and they're just just an amazing group of guys there as well. Uh, but uh, we got to get back to work. I don't think I'm leaving anything out on this one kind of a boring video nothing really too over the top there i think they knew that we recorded they knew we had a channel so they weren't gonna so. yell and scream at us and all of those crazy things that you guys like to see mm -hmm. yes. but uh hey i love these smooth transactions i can make it happen and move on to the next one and very calming <laughs> stick around stay tuned Thank you.